Hey guys, Jaratunks21 here. So, rather than upload a rep rather than upload a vlog uh, Friday and everything, and just do that instead of giving you guys the quality content you guys like, which is my New Vegas videos, here's the thing. I'm going to give you two vlogs. You know, two for the price of one. Now, what these vlogs entail is, for one... Let me, let me minimize my little face here so you guys can kind of see. I've got a display capture. I'm going to show you guys the t-shirts we are selling in Peace Room. But first, one of them is going to go up at 10 o'clock, which is my vlogs. Uh, the other will be going up at noon. And it is to tell you guys the story of fins.chins. So first and foremost... I don't know if you guys can see that. That is a jean jacket. This is the exact jacket my dad bought me and my sister to wear to school to advertise his business. And just to kind of show you guys what's on the back. Finley's Chinchillas. There you guys go. There you guys go. You got my last name. There you go. That still fits, actually. It is a little tight, and it doesn't go all the way down to my hips, but... Still fits. Anyways, now, on to the stories. But first, I'm going to show you guys the t-shirts we're selling. So these are our t-shirts. As you can see, 15, 15, 25, 15, 25. They're each in their own little M, M voice. Uh... As you guys know, I've, I've shown these before, but I'm going to show you show them to you again. We're going to zoom in here. This is our... Uh, we've already had one person buy one of these. I hope you guys like it. Um, I'm not going to buy this one, mostly because I want my own... Uh, I want my other one that I designed. But you can get this as a t-shirt in any of these colors. White, black, blue, red, or gray. I like red. Uh, you guys can see how long this sale lasts. The sale ends the 25th of April, so hurry up and buy them while you can. Um, it says 44 Magnum plus Irish New equals a typical Saturday night. I love math jokes because I suck at math. Uh, let's go on to our uh, next t-shirt, which is uh, the bearded one. You guys can see this lovely beard silhouette here uh, when it pops up. Here it is. Um, so as you guys can see, we've got our orange, uh, our green bottles on either side of the little silhouette, and they match up to our lovely green Jameson bottle, which we will be drinking now that my throat is feeling better. We will be doing a live stream, uh, Saturday. So, if you guys, I've been missing this. Uh, I've only had one alcohol beverage recently, which would be my, um, green apple teeny. But, this came from at, uh, Attack on Yarn. She came up with this idea for a design. As you guys can see, you've got the beard. And it says, where the beards are big and the drinks are cheap. Uh, again, it ends April 20... I think it, that said 25th. Um, let me get back in here and check. So, of course, as always, these are all... I'm making $5. This is all I'm making on these. Um... Yeah, uh, ends the 25th, and you guys can get that in black, blue, red, white, or gray, of course, lovely shirt. Uh, if you guys are looking to keep warm and rock the, uh, rock the lovely design, this one comes in green, I believe, yes, uh, a really evergreen green, you know, if you want to blend in, except for this big white patch, uh, so, uh, we got black. Uh, I think that contrasts pretty well with the white. I'm not sure, though. I mean, um, I mean, it probably would look a lot better just sticking with the white background. But, uh, you know, some people don't like white. You know, look at that, you know. As Deadpool says, you wear red so they don't see you bleed. But as you guys can see, there's the uh, 44 Magnum. It also, all of these end April 25th. After that time, you will not be able to buy these shirts. Or these sweatshirts, unless I renew it, which I will actually will not renew the, um, as you can see, $25. This one actually does not have a different color. You have to order this one in white. Um, it ends the 25th as well. So, uh, 
you know, it ends the 25th, and I've so far sold one of the shirts, so if they don't sell well enough, I'm not going to renew the, uh, the new, the, uh, trial where you guys can buy them, so head on over, purchase them, buy one for your friend, buy one for your uncle, buy one for your daddy, I don't give a shit, you know, buy one, man, and sure that I keep getting, they are really nice, uh, I am actually going to be buying one probably tomorrow when I go to the bank. Make sure I got some money in my bank account. Um, because I actually don't make money. I have to, you know, find creative ways. Like, you know, sometimes I go out and I dress up in fishnet stockings. That's something you want to see. Sometimes I dress Asylum up in fishnet stockings, you know. He, he looks better at it. He got legs for it. Anyways, so on to the stories. Um... So, as I said, my dad owned a business for a while when I was younger, when we were living in Indiana, uh, called Finn's Chins, or Finley's Chinchillas. Uh, if you guys don't know what a little chinchilla is, it's kind of like if you mix a kangaroo, a little tiny kangaroo with a rabbit, with a squirrel, you know. Uh, when, when God was making it, he, he was obviously plastered or faced. Um, really big teeth. And like, they hurt like a bitch if you get bit by them. Um, but they're really cute. They're really fuzzy. You guys can find them on eBay. Uh, well, I think you, they used to sell them on eBay all the time. Um, I don't think they're allowed to anymore. But you guys can look them up. Um, we used to go to one guy in particular. We get our we get new chinchillas from him occasionally. We get some pine shavings, some raisins. Yes, raisins you eat. We'd buy from him. We'd buy dust because they bathe in dust. They're the only mammals on Earth with fur that my mom can actually be around. Because they do not produce dandruff. They bathe in dust. So, yeah. Um, and me and my sister used to get paid a dollar for every baby chinchilla. This guy was like 80 years old and he had over 10,000 of them in a garage. That was, like, full-on setup. Like, if I had had to... I could run a business in that garage. I could run a Walmart in that garage. Um, and he would pay us a dollar for every chinchilla we found. Uh, baby chinchilla. Because if you'd set it up... And how my dad set it up... Let me see. You'd have a run like that. A run like... Like that, and call it four cages, and in this run, you'd have one female in each of these, and then you'd have a little back part to each of the cage, where a chinchilla that has his own cage, which would probably be right about here, connects into the run, and it can go in and go and visit each of his ladies, each of his lady friends, and in the... Uh, He'd do what guys do when he goes and visits his lady friends. He'd, uh, take her out to see a movie, go and watch Deadpool. Uh, hey, you pick up a pizza from Papa John's, you know, put on some Frank Sinatra, bring a glass of wine, you know. Oh, wait a minute, that's, that's humans. Why are we spending so much to have sex? This motherfucker got like 12 ladies! He ain't spending a damn dime, he's going in there and getting it done! Lucky bastard. I haven't seen any in a really long time. Anyways, uh, what he does is he will actually kill the baby, even if it says he'll kill it, because it will make, it will interfere with him getting his shilas, his lady friends. So what a lot of chinchilla breeders do is when they find, there's a little doorway like right here that he goes in. Just get the door right there. What we do is, because the baby has to be weaned, uh, we, me and my sister would find the baby chinchilla, and we'd come up, we'd tell him, and he would reach in here, he'd mark it on a card right here, so he knows when the chinchilla's an adult, and he can take it away from its mom, when it's weaned, and he blocks this, so the male cannot get in there. Take a little piece of sheet metal in there, and just stick it in the slot, and then that guy can't get in there, and kill the baby. Just to get more tang. See, we humans tend not to do that. But we also don't have like 12 lady friends all the time. If you're like me, you've had one in the like the last 20 years. 
Gotcha, guys. Anyways, so we would get paid a dollar to do that, and occasionally, Mr. Roush, or Roush was his name, um, would be really nice. Uh, the one time me and my sister found him, the babies were too small, and uh, mom had already stopped weaning them, uh, which does happen. They are mammals. They do they do, do that. They She had already stopped weaning them. So what we would do, it, what he did was he gave each, he gave me the one that I found, and he gave my sister the one she found, and they were about that big. They fit right here. If you cup your hand, if you cup your hand like that, they would go from right about my middle finger right there, right there down to here, down to there. And we raised them. Um, so... It was really nice. Uh, it was hard work because we'd be going from Indiana to Ohio. Uh, I don't even remember the town in Ohio we were going to. Um, but we we get up like five a.m. and we would not get back until five p.m. It would be straight shot, just boom, gone. So I think by the time we we moved and Dad stopped the chinchilla business, we had like seventy five hundred of them. So, that's the story of Finn's Chins and how that came to be a dead business. Anyways, it, it was a really fun time for us. It was really interesting. Um, of course, I did get to show off some product for you guys. Um, so, hope you guys like that. Uh, please do go buy the shirts. Uh, I understand you guys probably don't want to donate to the Patreon. Uh, I have issues donating to Patreon because I don't get anything out of it, um, anything intrinsic and, and material. But the shirt, I like. I like my own shirt design, which is pretty rare because most of the time with this channel, I don't like some of the stuff that I do. Uh, I don't like the sound of my voice. Uh, it sounds different to me. My voice actually sounds a lot deeper to me than what it does on the videos when I record them and play them back. I'm like... I always done something like that. Uh, so it is what it is. I do love talking to you guys, making content for you guys. But uh, please do go check out the t-shirt shop. Um, they were the product of a lot of work um, and a lot of effort. I really do wish you guys to buy them. We had one person buy it, and that person is at mdova1 on Twitter, um, and he really likes his shirt. So. You guys should go buy one. I, I know I'm not a graphic artist, but uh, I like to think they're nice shirts. If not, well, wait, I'll find a graphic artist. Anyways, thank you guys very much for all the help. I really do love you guys, and I will see you guys next time.